Hey, what's up, everybody? Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy. Jumping on real quick. Thanks for joining me on another podcast episode. Uh, today, I bring a course student of the Ultimate Civil FE Review course on, and we talk about his journey into passing. Uh, he took the FE exam much later in, I wouldn't say much later in life, but later in life. And uh, he's actually from Canada. So you may be wondering, why the heck is he taking the FE exam? Uh, but the truth is, is that Canada uh, does allow people to take the FE exam to work towards their PN, which is similar to the PE. And so he joined our course, the Ultimate Civil FE Review course, and describes his journey into subjects. He doesn't even have a, a civil engineering degree. Uh, he specializes in geotech, uh, and uh, he is part owner of the company that he works for and works in uh, up in Canada. And this is Andrew Jackson that I bring on, and uh, not the president, uh, but he goes by AJ. So I just had a fun conversation with him. He He's up in Canada. He recently passed his FE as, as a member of our course. And I just wanted to bring him on and talk about his own journey, uh, what, what he's doing, uh, how he's doing it, how he passed the FE exam, especially not even knowing all the subjects that are involved there and getting over that hump. So he's, his story is fascinating. So Andrew Jackson, I bring on to share that story with you. I hope you enjoy this episode. I think it will give you some motivation if you don't have an engineering degree that you can still do this exam. He's even working towards his PE as well. And so it's uh, he, he's got some great ambitions. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this episode. It was fun for, to, for me to have this conversation with him. And it's going to be coming up right after this. All right. AJ, welcome to the Civil Engineering Academy podcast. How are you doing? I'm great, Isaac. Thanks for having me here. Um, how are you? Hey, I'm doing pretty well. It's almost the weekend here, you know, so I can't Excellent. complain too much. Yeah. <laughs> Summertime. Well, um, I, I thank you for joining on. You've been a member of our course, uh, the Ultimate Civil FE Review course, and I wanted to have you on and you're graceful enough to come on, talk about your own little journey to, to acing this thing. But I also found your, your story unique. So I wanted to see if we could share that with everyone. So uh, I guess to begin this, though, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what you do for a living? Where do you live? Um, give us a little bit more about your own background. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Isaac. Um, I live in Victoria, BC, in Canada. For all the uh, for, for all the Americans that don't know where that is, the west coast, kind of near uh, Seattle, just north of Seattle. Um, I, I've been working at a geotechnical engineering firm for about 15 years. Um, my background, uh, from university was in, uh, you know, geology and geoscience and, and, uh, geomorphology primarily. So my sort of journey through the engineering world, um, you know, came about through being, uh, brought into that company and, um, you know, just expanding year after year on on uh, on on my engineering exposure and and um, and learning, and yeah, over the course of of those years, um, I've been involved in many projects and and uh, been um, you know and ha having a sort of an ongoing effort to uh, you know be um, be more familiar and and. Uh, and um you know in, in the professional sphere of, of engineering as well as geoscience so um currently working on uh um acquiring a png which is sort of the equivalent of the pe in in uh in the states um like i have a I have a pgo which is a the geoscience mm. um professional um designation that i've had since i think 2013 is when i when i got that um m mostly the the uh you know the scope of my professional um work was to do with uh you know geohazards and and um mm. and, and things of that nature uh not not necessarily the the geotech engineering side of things where you know more you know using engineered materials for supporting uh excavations and and um things of that nature so um yeah so that's sort of where i'm at as far as Does uh, I got a couple of questions regarding that. So yeah. does that does the FE help you get the PNG or because um, my understanding to get the PNG is that you're 
getting um, work experience under another PN, right? And developing a portfolio of work. Yeah, absolutely. There, there's an interesting um, sort of a bridge program that's been put together by the Engineering Association in, in British Columbia where you, um, for myself, I acquired what's called a limited engineering license. So it allowed me to practice uh, some aspects of the the, uh, the engineering and, you know, certify things uh, under mm-hmm. my own uh, envelope as, as a, you know, uh, engineer. Um, so there's, yeah, so they, what they've come out with, it's a fairly recent um, past few years they came out with this uh, program that said, well, if you've been a, if you've been an engineering licensee for, I think, eight years, um, or no, four years, I think, and, uh, four or five years, whatever it is. Uh, and then you're, you're looking to expand into a PNG, uh, for, for whatever reason, they just sort of saw that these exams were kind of already put together and available. The testing procedures are all in place. So the associates said, well, you know, here's these, to engineering, the FB and the PE exams, which um, you know, are, do cover essentially what you need to 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 have in place, uh, you know, being as an engineering degree um, and, and experience uh, somewhat equivalent. So they've they've said you know you can take these two exams, uh, provide a bit more supporting documentation, and then that would uh, you know allow for the. For, for acceptance as a PN in, in, in my particular case, which is it's not all that typical to be fair. Hmm. Well, that worked out well for you. So I'm, I was excited that, you know, being from Canada, you were able to take this and, and help you get that PN in, in the long run. So that that's mm-hmm. an interesting fact I had no clue about. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it, it's quite unusual, but, um, yeah, it's uh, it, it's great. I, I think it's um, it, it was yeah. You know, for for initially beforehand, it was well. You know, do I try to go back to university and do an entire engineering degree to become an engineer? Um, you know, or is there some other uh, you know facilitation that allows for that? And this this was put together, which is which has been been uh, fantastic for me to be able to to undertake yeah that's fantastic so if anyone's in canada and you didn't know this uh there you go you know go go get your fe going so <laughs> well why don't we dive into a little bit how did you do how did you find us how did you find civil engineering academy and our course the ultimate civil fe review course to be honest uh isaac i just went you know snooping around on the internet and um I kind of found a few different different courses, um, and yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think I watched a few of the the uh, sort of introductory videos you had, and I thought, you know, this this sounds like the, these guys are, um, you know, energized to to help somebody pass this kind of thing. So that that was pretty much it. Yeah, just just um, just kind of looking through with the website and. Um, and, and and sort of saying you know it's so only a couple hundred bucks to get in for the for, for the um, for the one month trial initially and and um, and, and I did end up yeah, signing up for a couple months worth of of your Sweet. your course to uh, yeah I, I pretty much went through the entire course in the matter of two months which which was a a, a decent uh, amount Impressive. of that. yeah so I, I did spend you know several hours a day. Or, or a couple, you know, at least an hour or two in the evenings going through it, and um, and, and that, um, you know, for for others it might, you know, might be a bit more of a of a uh, endurer, you know, to 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 work through it, and um, you know, you may even want to run through the thing twice, uh, you know, so I, I probably could have as well because it's it's a lot of information. It's a lot of information. So I have a couple questions for you. Uh, what would you recommend for a uh, study time for someone? Uh, in a similar boat as you, where you've kind of got this work history, um, you're familiar with some of the subjects. And then I guess to tack onto that is how did you tackle subjects you weren't familiar with knowing you didn't have uh, an engineering degree that maybe it didn't cover all the topics that may be found on the exam? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, I, I did sign up for this exam about a year ago. So I knew it was coming and I essentially sort of started plugging away at um, just kind of pulling whatever YouTube videos I could watch. I I ordered a couple different practice exams 
um, you know, getting into the, the some of these even just basic kind of math uh, videos and stuff just to kind of help refresh me on a lot of the math and calculus stuff I haven't seen for for years, decades right. even. Um, so so that was to be honest, yeah, a lead up of a, at least six months before I even got into your course. That's so um, I, I did spend that background time for myself trying to get up to speed with with a lot of the um, the, the, the stuff that you know chaps would probably. Uh, have experience with um you know from more recently from school but but yeah somebody like myself um i think it, it definitely takes a lot of a, a lot of uh run up to really get up to speed and and even just to get into the course to, that you have offered i wouldn't really even suggest just kind of jumping into it cold if you're you know if you if you haven't really um refreshed yourself on a lot of that information um so yeah i don't know if that answers your question fully but no uh, it does um yeah. it, it's helpful for people to understand like um i'm glad to say you had a little bit of a ramp up because i think the longer you've been out of school mm -hmm. maybe the longer that ramp up should be uh and then hopefully the course kind of just help put icing on the cake to really get you into gear to to pass it as you got yeah, there so yeah absolutely and um i, I think the you know, yeah, a lot of the the stuff like the structural engineering type of and the transportation stuff I'd never seen before. So um, really, like uh, I did really well on the geotech side and, and the fluid mechanics and, and the hydrology parts, uh, you know, so so that was um, that was definitely, um, you know, a good refresher, though, as well. But but um, but I found that a lot more sort of, you know, at the tip of my tongue where I could just, you know, have it ready to go when I was doing those th those uh, problems and uh, but but yeah a lot of new stuff like like I say the structural and the um, the, the the economics uh, engineering engineering of economics stuff I oh, yeah. that either and I, I struggled with that to be fair it's uh, it's it's not something that uh, that I had much exposure with and I know you know on the exam I, I definitely uh, you know d d didn't crush those <laughs> well you got enough <laughs> yeah that's right that's yeah, I mean that's one of the things to really uh, to, to to um you know figure out is that if you know if you know three quarters of the stuff really well, um, probably don't stress you out on the on the other quarter and waste a bunch of time trying to learn things that you may never really use or that maybe you know just just stressing out too much if you if you're focusing on those things that uh, you you have experience with already and you can build on that. Um, and you can develop those and then, you know, having some good, good, uh, exam, uh, strategy, um, approach is, is basically how I did it. Like that's, that's how I was able to, I think, um, get through it because that's of that. Great. Good advice. I like it. Yeah. Um, AJ, could you name something that you really enjoyed about the ultimate civil FE review course as you took it? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the, the the videos like there's j just a vast amount of videos of um of the problems, uh, you know, being able to watch the process um and and have those at hand, be able to go back and rewatch them and and um yeah, just just the the presentation was was very um you know, sort of uh absorbable, you know, f for me. And um yeah, I just I, I thought it was uh was was great from that um that kind of perspective um so yeah i mean it's uh you know it, it, it's it's a it's a good course for for helping just you know get, get that information available for the, the individual to uh to work through and and to uh and to absorb yeah like it um was there any obstacles that almost prevented you from checking out or buying the course did you have any obstacles in your way um i wouldn't say so um no i mean it's it, it was a reasonable price for me you know in that respect um good you know and and uh, i i did consider signing up for the three month versus the one month and then i was like well i think i'm probably just going to only need maybe two months of it so then i i just ended up doing doing the two months at you know, pr probably paid more and of a premium to do it, but that's sort of, you know, uh, it worked out for me. Um, Good. I, I think for others, you know, I, I I was on the fence. I probably could have done the three month purchase, and that would have been a better deal. Like if I was into it for the three months, but like I say, I really didn't uh, didn't start ramping up my efforts for um, 
you know, a couple hours a night studying until until about that two month mark. Um, and that's when I was like, geez, I better uh, <laughs> better get this going. So that's, awesome. that's what I ended up doing. Yeah. Yeah. The course comes with lectures. We provide a lot of practice problems for people, uh, making sure they're getting lots of exposure. Uh, a couple practice exams as well to make sure you test yourself well in advance and, and including a CBT exam. So uh, all that stuff's there. And then uh, support. We try to support you as best as we can, uh, really through email or through our team uh, or private community. So all of that's kind of there for you. So uh, I'm glad you're able to to take advantage of that. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Um, is there something about the CBT exam, so the computer-based testing exam, that that you wish you would have known when you come in to, to take it? Is there any surprises? Um, you know, yeah, truthfully, I, I watched one of your more recent videos about, uh, you know, prepping for the exam, and, and it was beneficial because I just found out in one of those videos that, oh, you know, this is a, this is a two step exam so mm -hmm. you come write that first 55 questions and then you don't have a chance to go back and do those where i wasn't i didn't really understand that before um so so that was was quite uh you know revealing that yeah i better strategize and make sure i hammer these 55 off you know go back do what i can and then just those are gone now have a break have a sandwich you know get a chug back a a, a lion's mane filled coffee and, and, and try and get, get, you know, squared up for the next, uh, the next half. Um, so yeah, that was, that was definitely, um, you know, one of the things that, uh, that I learned, you know, fairly, uh, recently before I did the exam. Um, and yeah, otherwise I've never really done a computer exam. Um, I think maybe like a driver's license update thing at one point, but that's not the same thing. Um, oh no, I did like my, my private, uh, private boat license thing a few years ago too. That was on the computer, but, it, but that's, you know, you just sit there and, you know, you're drinking a beer and you're just like, whatever, it's fine. This, uh, this was intense. Like it was like, you go into this, the testing facility, it feels like you're like walking to some sort of like, like correctional facility or something. It's like, there's, you know, under your pockets and scan your palm and, you know, put your stuff in the locker, lock up your cell phone and then go in again, hold another check and then mm -hmm. turn around. And it's like, then you go into the room and the headphones are on and everybody's like, you know, there's like somebody watching you behind a thing. And it's like, Oh my God, <laughs> it's, it, it, it's pretty intense. Yeah. So, I mean, that, be, a, be ready for that. And I, I went on to the, the, the day before I went on to the testing facilities uh, website and kind of was like, it gives you a bit of a walkthrough. So I was like, okay, I, I'm I'm not going to be really blindsided by this because I sort of know what to expect. But even when you when you show up, it's like really wow, this is this is heavy. Like it's um, yeah, you know, and uh, and and really, yeah. No matter how much I practice going through on my computer, like searching things, like the setup is a little different. It's like the two screens, yep. and so you've got your searching is sort of smaller, and you're kind of like you know, do I like scroll across the little arrow to try and get a bigger search thing and you know, so I think really, yeah, like the more time you, you have to go digging for things in that FE manual, the worse off you're going to be like, you really just need to know where stuff is, um, you know, and again, if, if, if it's not completely evident that on the question of how to do the question, it was like, I got to go look this up and just straight on to the next one. You might have a chance to get back to it later. I mean, I, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't finish. I think I've maybe got 85 questions done, I figure. Wow. And the rest, I just didn't have time to do. Like, I, you know. Well, good job. That's that. that so maybe I, you guessed yeah. right on some. I mean, of those. I must have had some some guesses that were right on the ones that I was just kind of, you know, shooting shooting numbers <laughs> at, and the other ones was like I, I feel Crushed like I did. It. Yeah, I did. I did have a decent amount of uh, problems that I was like, yeah, I, this is done. I know this. I'm super confident. Others, yeah. I mean, they they had some of the questions where you now you're like shifting the you know the little windows to like line up things. Mm -hmm. um, they had a, one on retaining walls. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> that was great. So you know, if you know know your retaining wall types, I'll say for some like that was that was definitely one that I that that was like, oh thank you, that's a gimme. Um, but some yeah, some of the other ones there's like 
these bending moment things where it's like, look at all these four different, five different things. And what's the actual, you know, envelope uh, of these moments. And you're kind of like, oh my God, this is whoa. But then you kind of go through and you're like, well, if this is that, then this, you know, this can't be that one. And then you're looking at the different like geometries and like, well, I think it's that one and that one. Yeah, yeah good. So <laughs> there was a couple like that. And then I think there was only maybe two or three that were like, you have to analyze this whole thing and like just plug in your number. Um, so fill like, in the uh, blank. Yeah. So they, 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 uh, a lot of people are worried about these alternative item type questions. And it sounds like you had, uh, a few of them. And the other one people are worried about are theory questions. So, um, you know, getting prepared for those. So it sounds like you had some exposure to both of those on your exam. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They were, um, th they were definitely those like, I mean, probably I'm trying to remember how many actual theory ones, because they, do, they obviously have like the, uh, you know, the ethical ones are all sort of theory based as well. Yes. So, you know, when you, when you put those in with, with some of the other ones, like maybe there was 20, I, I guess 20 questions ish around that of, of that type. Which is quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a fair amount. Um, so, I mean, yeah. And, and um, I mean, there was a couple actually where I think I, I was just kind of like, well, what is, what is this even mean? And then I went into the, into the manual. It was like, somebody rip. And I was like, Oh, Boom. It's right there. It's just written right there. So yeah, so being able to search, um, you know, effectively to can have its benefits to, to, to give you that, give you that answer right off the bat. So, yeah. Love it. Well, um, uh, we'd love to ask this question, but what's, uh, what's one of the main reasons why you would recommend the ultimate civil FE review course to someone else that's starting this journey? Well, geez, I mean, you know, trying to do this just on your own out of a book, um, unless you're, you know, like a genius or, or you're, uh, you know, like I say, if, unless you're very, very, um, you know, sort of, uh, familiar with all of this kind of stuff, um, then, you know, I, I definitely recommend it. Like it's, it's 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 so helpful um i i wouldn't have been able to do it like just just doing the practice problems um on my own no it would have and you know maybe going back to school or something but like i say i don't have the time or I, you know i've got three kids i got i, I got uh, full-time work i'm part owner in the in the business so it's uh yeah it's 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 so much so to have that um you know basically just lectures online and i mean there's a couple videos out there online for different guys that do sort of fe problems and that but um the 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 depth and breadth was really, really wasn't uh covered in the same way and, and and the same sort of you know just at your fingertips like really being able to look, going back and look at stuff and it's all in one place like it's it's definitely uh you know i'd recommend it for anybody that's that, that, that's like i say not um not uh very very familiar with those those types of uh um uh, of, of uh problems yeah love it well aj this has been fun to do with you uh is there any last second tips you'd give to anyone else preparing for this thing and it sounds like what's next for you is getting that png over there in canada which i am excited for you to get so uh any last study tips for anybody yeah, yeah um boys i mean yeah i just it just takes uh it just takes that sort of you know uh, build up dedication of, of of day after day um you know just plugging away at stuff uh, it, until until you can really um you know be comfortable with things and like i'm i'm going to be ramping up to take that pe exam um so you're uh, going to do that too I, i've got to do that as well yeah so that's my next uh that that's my next challenge um so i'm I'm taking off about a month just, you know, just to have a relaxing period. And then I'll, I'll be back at, I'll probably do the similar thing where I, you know, start to do some practicing on my own. And, and then I'm, I'm be sure to join into your group probably within about three months of when I write. And I'm planning on probably December to, to write that. So then, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of where, um, you know, what I'd say to, to, to people, um, you know, is just, just give yourself enough time. Like, especially for all those working out there with, with kids um, and, and houses and wives and all the rest of it. It just, there's so much going on every day that uh, you, you can't overdo it. Um, 
I mean, until the last week and then really, you know, put in your time. I took off like a week of work before I did my exam and I just like hid in my office and like just was like eight hours a day. I did a couple practice exams. So, you know, the week before the exam, you know, for me anyways, it worked to just really, you know, go, go full out and, and just focus on that alone. You know, put your cell phone off, turn your, don't look at Bitcoin, just, 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 just do it. Right. That's, that's what you got to do. You got to commit to it. And then, uh, I mean, it worked for me, man. And I, I was, uh, very, very pleased that I was able to get through it and it's given me a good, uh, good, good amount of momentum to get this next thing done. And, um, and and keep on with it so it's good awesome man well we're thankful that you've been a member of our course definitely go check us out at civilfbreviewcourse.com and you can also check us out at our main site civilengineeringacademy.com uh aj thanks for doing this with us so i appreciate you jumping on and sharing your thoughts about the fe and your journey with our course so thanks for doing this absolutely all right see ya